Good evening guys, welcome to another episode of James Vlog. So today we're gonna review another watch. Okay, that I have actually purchased recently. Okay, so you can see from the back is from Seiko. Okay, so today I have had myself here also a Bernier caliper so that I can give you the most accurate dimensions of the watch okay you see I've actually taken it out to prevent any scratches to the watch okay all right let's get on with it so the watch comes in this uh, very nice bag okay okay so uh, it's it's not your typical Seiko bag Seiko box unboxing also which come in those uh, very small paper box this watch is a limited edition from Seiko okay as you can see the box size is also quite huge okay. all right let me get out and it comes with some special gifts as well okay so this is the box that comes with uh, this is the gift okay so as you can see this is the Seiko Zimbe limited edition okay. um, Seiko limited edition is I think most of the time only released in Thailand okay so and this is the Zimbe 12 limited edition the SPB SBP 109J if I'm not wrong okay so let's get on with the unboxing so I actually have I actually have the carton box with me okay and inside you can see the box itself okay so it has uh, three to four layer of with the carton box will be four the box Okay. Okay. So now I'm op opening up the first outer box which is just a paper carton box. A very thin layer. Okay, let me just take it out and put it aside. And inside there you can see the very nice Seiko box. This is different from other normal Seiko 5, Seiko Sports watch, okay, because it is a limited edition. Okay, and it's very special. Okay, so you have this outer box which is made of cardboard paper. Okay, let me just remove it. Okay. Over there, you see, this is the inner box. Okay, it's a Seiko Zimbe limited edition prospect. Okay, so you can see over here it comes with a Seiko cleaning cloth, very special, unused. Okay, because I have my own cleaning cloth, so generally most of the time I don't use it. Okay, so let us have a look at this. Um, let me just put it in properly first okay. all right let us take a look at this one this, this is the warranty card and this is the movement of the watch it's a 6 round 15 diverse watch okay in Zimbe and 6 round 15 comes with uh, 55 hours power reserve Okay, so you have all your instruction inside there okay and over here this is the warranty card worldwide warranty okay and at the back of it you have your warranty card and also the it's a limited edition to 1200 pieces okay and you see this is the 728 series of the limited edition okay. purchased in January this year 
Okay. Oh, and I forgot. For every of my watch review, I should do a wristwatch check. Okay, so I have my, I have on today my uh, Squally. 1521 50 atmos with a 50 atmos means 50 bar that means it has a depth depth range of depth rating of 500 meter very special watch okay okay let us now open up unbox this one okay so as you can see this is the watch okay she comes with a very special green linen interior. Okay, it has both leather strap, eh, sorry, rubber strap, and the stain, stainless steel bracelet. Okay, so I actually have it on the stainless steel bracelet now and size it to my wrist. So you can see all the extra links, well protected. And this is the rubber strap that it came came together with a very nice rubber, a soft rubber. I would say nowadays the quality of Seiko watches has actually gone up a lot. Okay. And over here we have all the tags to, for the watch. Okay, so it's written here Zimbe Limited Edition. Okay, all the tags on the serial number. Okay, and the watch is actually also ISO certified. Okay, six four two five twenty eighteen. Okay, you can see the ISO certification, and this is the pros prospect. Okay, with all the caliber serial number of the watch or together with the tag all right all right now let's take a look at the watch nearer okay, so this is the Zimbe limited edition trial okay. oh, I forgot we should just look at the model number of the watch eh? Alright, so here is it, the reference of the watch. SB, SPB 109J1. Oh, sorry, I sure I given you the wrong reference earlier on. Okay, so now we know the reference of this watch. Alright, and all right. let's take a look at this watch. Okay, so it has a green down green bezel aluminium bezel okay um, it doesn't have any ceramic insert but you can look at the green green bezel and the gold markers they are very very nice and exquisite okay the down itself is green also okay sunburst down you can see at certain angle it becomes black and green okay the hour marker hour hand minute hand second hands are all gold plated markers okay he even come with a cyclops for the date window and it is a and it is sapphire crystal okay with double AR coating on both sides okay so this is the crown head okay. you can see over here all right let's get down to the dimension of the watch first okay so it has a the bracelet has a double claps function which I will show you afterwards that we will discuss about it in a while okay okay so let's take a measurement of the case diameter. Put it 
this way. Okay, so the case diameter is uh, a tap above 43 mm. Okay, so it should be around 43. Okay, the bezel diameter. around 41 mm thickness the watch tap above 13 mm okay so it should sit very nicely lock to lock with Lock to lock is about 48 mm. Okay. Lock width itself is about 20 mm. Okay. Sorry. 22 mm, I would say. Lock width is about 21. Okay, and taper down to the end at 18 and then okay. So this is the base dimension of the watch that we are talking about here. Okay, so now let's start to wind up this watch first. Okay? And you can it has a very this um, three clap three level function crown. Okay, so when you unscrew, the first level is where you um, see wind the wind the watch. Okay, see it's out. Okay, so it has a very buttery smooth movement to it when you wind it up. Less than 10 turns and the mechanism starts moving. Okay. So the second lever of the watch is where you adjust the date. See? And the last lever okay where you pull it out it actually hacks the movement as well so you can adjust the time yeah you can actually see the date change very accurate all right so when you push the crown in it actually locks the goes back to the winding function of the watch winding level of the watch okay let's just lock the crown on very nice smooth treading okay so let's let's look at the bezel itself okay it does have this uh, how you say marker at the 12 o'clock position all right which is also luminescent all right um seiko call they are watch the loom give their markers all this luminous they call it the luminescent okay so the bezel is unidirectional and turns only in one direction Okay, and it's very smooth, very nice battery movement. Okay, and you and the clicking of the bezel 
120 clicks it's a bit different from Rolex and Omega the way they did it is I would say more refined all right let's take a look listen to it I'm not sure whether my camera can catch the sound Justifying. Oh, yeah, I over, overturned it. Very satisfying clicks. Okay, so now it's and very accurate. Very accurate. You can look at it, its position. So it, in its hour markers, you can see at twelve o'clock it has a double marker to in. To indicate that it's 12 so whenever you bring the watch for diving in the in the sea you can actually know where is the 12 o'clock okay so let's talk a bit more on the dial itself okay you can see on the um, the chapter ring of the watch is actually a bit tapered tapered down towards the dial surface so you can, they actually have additional minute markers around it, okay? Alright, so the bezel function is similar to all dive watch. So whenever you set the 12 o'clock marker, okay, the bezel marker to the minute hand, this will help you to do the countdown, especially for diving. I say your oxygen tank is 30 minutes. So from the time you start diving, you can set the watch to the, follow the mini marker. And from then on, you read, you got 30 minutes of oxygen left in the tank. Okay, before you have to resurface to the, uh, to the surface. Okay. All right. So you can, as you can look at it, the 6R15 movement is very smooth movement in comparison with some other watches. Okay. Um, I would say it's a, the movement is a bit above the Seiko 5, Seiko Sports range. Okay. That's why you can see the sweep movement. And it's nothing like the, uh, how you say, the... 9R15, 9R35 kind of movement, okay, so it's a bit different, okay, it has a depth range of 200 meter for this watch, okay, which is similar to the uh, release this year of the Seiko Alpinis, okay, but the Seiko Alpinis is using a 6R35 movement which has um, 70 hours power reserve, Okay, 15 more hours more than this watch. Okay, but I think for my personal taste, I think 55 hours is a good range. Okay, for power reserve. Alright. So basically on Friday when you knock off from work, okay, you leave the watch at home until Monday morning when you put it on again to go to work, the watch should still be running. Alright. Nice to sing. Okay, now let's set back the bezel. I actually like the gold bezel markers. They are very, how you say, um, very classic to this watch. Right? And you can look at it. It gives you this kind, that kind of patina, kind of feeling. So, my guess is, as the watch ages over time okay um, you you sort of see the patina effect on the bezel okay it's aluminium like i say it doesn't have uh, any ceramics on it so it is supposed to fade over time and this will give you the patina e effect and i like it like it a lot 
and I like the down which has a sunburst effect. Okay. As you can see when you turn it from different angle you can you can see that some some shades of black is coming in. Okay. So this is this is really really very classic of a watch. Okay. Which I like, which I like a lot. Okay. So how I actually get it is actually I was uh, in Thailand sun in back in January okay for a business trip and I went to one of their Seiko boutiques and I was looking at the uh, diver range save the ocean range and they actually told me they have one piece of this Zimbe limited edition left in their in in their uh, counter and they actually show it to me and I immediately fell in love with it right um, it is not cheap okay I would say for Seiko brand prospect this watch is definitely <laughs> I would say entry entry luxury level kind of price range all right okay so let me clean up the watch a bit first before we continue okay so the the biggest difference of this watch is that uh, it has this the case you look at the case okay on the top you have this uh, hairline polish which is in itself is very fine and on the side of the case you can see it has very 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 fine mirror polishing okay so this is the saruso polishing from seiko okay? and it's really polished to mirror perfection and it takes years of experience and hours of handwork handcraft work to actually achieve this kind of polishing okay so this is something you don't see in a lot of other luxury brand that can achieve this kind of finishing and this is what i like about it okay so the case itself is obviously 316 stainless steel okay and we can take a look at the case back as well and the case back actually shows you the limited edition and also the limited edition number serial number of this watch right and it, this this frog frog imprint at the back at the case back is really really you only unique to the zim Zimbe edition which I really like okay, it actually is it's, oh, sorry sorry actually it's not a walk frog it's actually the wave pattern wave pattern okay of the watch oh, a wave pattern not the watch a wave pattern I don't not very sure maybe the Japanese sea okay um, all right so and you can actually see the Zimbe shark right imprinted on the case back as well okay. let me clean it up a bit more now I see some dirt on it ah. okay all right you can see how nice it is okay now come to the bracelet it is a three-piece bracelet and man i got to tell you this is the most solid bracelet i ever come across okay? i think the thickness wine the so solidity of it i think it is uh, it is on i would say on par with rolex okay? it is really solid okay and it's high polish on the side okay it's using the same technique of polishing saruso polishing so you can see the continuous mirror like finishing on the 
side of the bracelet okay. so these are not simple skills to achieve it takes many many years of training and learning okay and the claps itself okay it's a double action claps okay so you actually fold it down clip it on and then you clap okay so it does have some diver extension function uh, it should give you about another 10 mm kind of adjustment okay on the bracelet side it does have all this uh, pinhole for you to make another maybe another 10 mm of adjustment okay so it is not that kind of uh, glide lock system that you you get for most of watches like Omega or Rolex Omega Seamaster or Rolex Submariner so it's just basically an extension to what you actually have okay you can look at how solid is the claps being made okay it is not short for of quality here as I can tell you and it's not in the price range of luxury watches like uh, Rolex or Omega okay? but it's but you can look at the quality of the watch and it's I would say close very close okay one setback of this watch that I don't really like is because of the pinhole adjustment it doesn't come with the screw links they are all pinhole links so when you want to interchange between the uh, the rubber strap and the stainless steel bracelet you have to remove the pin okay i do understand a lot of people still think, think that the pins are much more solid and sturdier than the screw type of pin, uh, links screw links but in this um, generation era i think the quality of all these pins have actually also improved a lot okay so that's um, my my view okay that's generally my personal view okay um you may like it you may not like it all right okay so uh let's um do a wrist watch wrist watch put it on the wrist and show it to you how does the watch look on my wrist my wrist is a uh, probably uh, six and six and a half inch all right guys now let's have a look at the watch on my wrist six and a half inch wrist sit very solidly on my wrist I like the feel and the weight of it okay? because the bracelets is solid the case is solid so I actually like the feel of it a lot okay normally I will put my watch on my right wrist this is how I wear watches day to day but for you viewers out there okay I put it on my left wrist okay I'll try to show you a luminous view of this watch the with the luminous markers okay, but I'm not too sure how much of you can see because there's still um, still quite bright out here all right let's give it a try okay hope you can see the luminous they are actually very very good much much better than what you have on Rolex I would say okay all right so before we go on there's one last bit that I would like to show you which is the gift that comes with this limited edition watch and that this is the gift that it comes with and what is it another watch obviously not <laughs> okay. can't be can't be so nice okay so um, these are actually the toasters 
Okay, these are actually toasters. Okay, the diff the twelfth edition of all the Zimbe. The the all the Zimbe edition. Okay, toasters. Okay. So you can see the different edition of it. Total there are 12 toasters inside here. And so this I, I'm not too sure which is which edition is this. Okay. And this is a Marine Master edition. Okay. So the Zimbe collection has many many it's already up to the 12th edition already. So these are these toasters are according to the to the, the all the edition that it has today okay so it comes together with this set of limited edition watch and you can actually get it from me okay if you like okay you can look at the, you can follow my link be, below for the carousel site and we can check through there to buy Okay, and you ask me whether is it worth every single cent of it I'll say it's surely damn worth it this watch is really has a class of its own okay and Seiko has really outdo themselves again okay with this watch okay in terms of quality and finishing is at the top top notch Okay, and the price is really entry level luxury, but getting a luxury watch kind of quality, and this is how good Seiko is now. All right, so if you like my videos, okay, please leave me some comment and remember to hit the like button, and remember to subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon. Okay, so whenever I have a new video up, you all will be notified. You'll be the first to be notified. Okay, thank you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again. Cheers, bye.